My Argentinian friend Camila sent me this message. Todo bien y vos? And I was like, what? Vos does not equal vosotros, like I thought it did. That's what I want everyone to understand, first of all. Vos equals tú. So you, singular. Tú is the same as vos. And they use it in quite a few places in Latin America. In Central America, pretty much all of Central America. Honduras there. It's my friend Daniel from Honduras. He uses it a lot. Y vos, gringo. And Argentina is a big one as well. Uruguay uses it. Paraguay, I think, as well. So there's a few different countries in Latin America that use vos instead of two. So, un ejemplo, chicos. ¿Tú hablas español? Do you speak Spanish? But in Honduras or Argentina, they would say, ¿Vos hablas español? ¿Vos is the same as tú? And here you can see it looks pretty similar, but it's got the A here. So, what you're going to do to conjugate it is take off the last letter of the infinitive. So, here, hablar. Take the R. Quita la, la R. So, it's habla. Add an S, hablas, and then an accent on the penultimate letter. So we'll see a few more examples here. Tú dices, you say. Vos decís. So like this with the accent, it would actually be decís, not decís, because this is Latin America. So remember, they say sa, 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 instead of th, 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 like they do in Spain. So decir, to say, take the R off, add an S, decís. And then add an accent on the penultimate letter. Tú tienes becomes vos tenés. Vos tenés. Tener, quita la R, add an S, and then accent that penultimate letter. So that's how you conjugate it. Don't get too hung up on it. I just want you to recognize that vos is the same as tú. They use it in a lot of Latin America. And there are a couple of irregular ones. The main one you're going to hear is this. Sos instead of eres. So sos equals eres. All right. Tú eres español. Are you Spanish? Vos sos español. Or just sos español. Are you Spanish? So that's what they're going to say in, in parts of Latin America. Vos is the same as tú, but it conjugates slightly differently. In the present tense, in the past tense and other tenses, it's, it's the same. So uh, tú eres um, becomes uh, vos sos here or vos eras in the past. All right, so it's the same. Tú eras, vos eras. All right, and if you want to know what ipico means, make sure you check out the video below. Please do like and uh, subscribe to this channel. It means a lot. It helps me a lot. Add any comments. What other countries have you seen this in? Um, nada, chicos. Un abrazo. Que tengas un buen día. Ciao.